Hello everyone, welcome to Discovery English Academy video. My name is Yanda. Today I want to teach you some phrasal verbs that you can use them for talking about money. Okay, without using the word money. Okay, when I say money, what comes to your mind? Saving or spending? Okay, let's start with saving first. We have save up and put aside. When you say save up, it means you're saving money for a longer period of time and for bigger expenses. For example, you want to buy a house or for example, you need money for your retirement. You can say that, I want to save up money to buy a big house. Okay? And that's for a longer period of time. But if you say put aside, it means for a shorter period of time and not that much money. For example, you have 100 bucks and you want to put that in your checking account, in your, in your bank, for example, and your friends say that, okay, don't forget to put aside 20 bucks because you want to go out tonight. Put aside $100, you put aside $20 and just put $80 in your checking account, okay, because you want to go out with your friend. This is for a shorter period of time and not for loss of money, okay? The other phrasal verb that I want to teach you is dip into or break into. So you can say, I dip in, I dip into my account. When you say, I dip it in my saving, it means, for example, you need money for doing something. For example, you want to go on vacation, okay? So you dip into your saving, dip into your saving. Maybe it's not a lot of money and it doesn't hurt your checking account. You just like get some money and you just, for example, spend it for your vacation and it doesn't hurt you, okay? But when you say break into your saving, it means you need money for something and continuously you have to withdraw money from your saving account. In that case, which is not really good, so you say, I break into my saving. It means I keep going. I keep withdrawing money from my saving account or checking account. Okay? The other two phrases of verbs that I want to teach you today is about paying back the money. Pay back and pay off. And you want to know the difference between these two. When you say, I pay the money back, it means, for example, you have a loan, like student's loan, and monthly you're paying back your loan. But after you finish or you just like pay the whole money, pay back the whole money, so you can say, I pay off my loan. It means no more debt, debt free. Okay. The other phrasal verb that I want to teach you, first one, cough up. Do you know the meaning of cough? So when you're sick, you usually cough <coughs> like this, but this time the meaning is different. Okay, cough up, it means spending money on something reluctantly. It means you're not interested in paying money or spending money for something, but you have to, so you can use this uh, phrase over for that. So you can say, I had to cough up 20 bucks for buying that thing, whatever. But you don't really like to spend that much money, but you had to, okay? So it's just like cough up. The other one is cut back or cut down. It means you spend a lot on shopping, but you think you have to stop it because you need to save up some money. You say, I have to cut back on my shopping expenses. It means you have to stop spending, okay? And save up some money. And the last one is rip off. What's the meaning of rip off? Do you have any idea? Okay, I'm telling you. When you say rip off, it means you spend money on something that is not worth it, okay? For example, you know something is $200, you go somewhere and you have to spend $500 on that 
and you must buy it at that time, okay? And you know it's too expensive. So you say, wow, that's a ripoff, okay? Now here, these are some expressions that I taught you today, all about money without using the word money. Like save up, put aside, is for saving money. First one for longer period of time. Second time for, second one for shorter period of time. Okay? And not for lots of money, okay? The other one, dip into your saving or break into your saving. The first one is not kind of negative because, for example, you need money for going on vacation or something for something fun. You just dip into your saving and spend some money, but still you're good, in a good situation. But break into your saving, it means you have to spend continuously. You have to withdraw money from your saving and you have to do it continuously and you're going down, down, and down, okay? These two, pay back and pay off, both for returning the money, pay back, it means slowly, right, step by step, but pay off, it means when you finish all your debt and you're debt free, okay? So you just like pay off your whole loan. These three, cough up, it means spending money reluctantly, you don't like it. Cut back, it means you have to stop spending and rip off is when, so you're just spending so much money on something that is not worth it, okay? I hope you enjoy watching our video. So you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Discover English Academy, and you can watch more video. And if you want to learn more, you can join us at Discover English Academy. See you next time, bye.